Yo, what is good, Rice Ball Gang? Today, we do have some more Bleach. And last time, we did see Ichigo, Chad, and Ishida infiltrate Waco Mundo. They're making their way to the palace. But along the way, they encountered a baby lolly hollow. <laughs> and joined with me today is the one and only Thick Thigh Tie, aka Primal. Dang! Yeah. But anyway, before we do get into it, if you guys are new to the channel and you do enjoy, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Become a part of the Rice Ball Gang today. But anyway, let's just get right into it. Oh, oh Boda. Boda. I said that was you. Me, that was my Boda. <laughs> what? Why are they built like that? <laughs> Bro, she's so adorable. Bro, why are they built like that? They literally look like some damn Pokemon. <laughs> Bro, that's a Chimera ant. Bro, this is the Chimera ant X Pokemon X Bleach crossover, bro. <laughs> oh my god. They were chasing you. Bro, she's so adorable. Nell? Oh, so her name's Nell? So they're a Ronkars. What the fuck is Dondo Chaka? Bro, they're a bunch of clowns, bro. So I guess it's no different from the Soul Society in the sense that they create, I guess, their own little family unit. Oh my god. Yeah, they seem a lot different. Okay, so I guess you have the, the fighting ones, and then you have, I guess, just the regular ones, and those are them. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh no, are they gonna attack? Oh no. <laughs> Yo. They just shit themselves, bro. I don't think they're gonna kill them. Yeah. Yeah. The only time they're gonna kill is if they're seriously gonna attack you or attack them. Yeah, and I think it's interesting to see that Aronkors can be decent beings, you know, like they're not all inherently evil. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cause when I think of like a hollow, especially like or a Ronkars, especially in Waco Mundo, I think of them being like these dangerous monsters, but mm -hmm. They're just kind of some clowns. <laughs> Bro, they are clowns. And every time I see them, I just I keep giggling because they're that much of a clown show. I don't think they're going to be able to beat them. <laughs> I feel like they can hear them. Oh, what the hell? Oh no! Bro, she, she poked his up on Oh, gang? Hold on, gang shit. <laughs> but she's like a little crackhead, bro. <laughs> and it's so crazy, too, just like the seeing like the difference in the, I guess, our Ronkars or whatever, because the little lolly one, Nell, she looks more like human esque, whereas these dudes look more like monsters. <laughs> Bro, Ichigo Zanpakuto is so much bigger than her. Oh my god, there's... I forgot its name, but it was like blah 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 blah. Oh my god, he's slugging. Bro, this was the last thing I expected for them going into Waco Mundo, bro. <laughs> well, that didn't last long. Oh no, he's gonna crush him! Bro, 
Bro, I like how Ichigo just treats anyone okay. with, like, kindness. <laughs> oh. oh, no. What the hell is this? What the hell? What is that? What? <laughs> it's a sand hollow. So this is the Jadonbo of Waco Mundo. <laughs> bro, he's a sand castle, bro. All right, let's go, easy go. Oh, oh, a Getsu? Oh. I don't... Okay, that was, that was an easy clap. Why do I feel like he can just reform himself, though, because he's sand? Yeah, that was... They spent a whole lot of time building him up just for Ichigo to one-tap him. Oh god, of course. Yeah, bro. So this is just gonna be like annoying to defeat because he can just regenerate. Dude, but big sucker swinging. God damn. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so maybe if they combine all their attacks, it could kill him. Okay. Oh my god. Please tell me that got him. Okay. I I think they got him. Oh my god. Oh. Bro, this dude is annoying as hell. Oh my god, in another sand pit. Bro, it is literally obstacle after obstacle, bro. Oh, come on. He's not a bad guy. Oh my oh. god. Oh. oh, what? Oh? Oh, what? <gasps> is that... Is that Rukia? Wait just a goddamn second. Oh, well, that's a rip. He's gone now. Bro, let's fucking go. Hey, let's Richie. Go. Bro, I called that shit. I literally called that shit. I wonder how they got there. I mean, does Soul Society? See, that's the only way that I'm thinking, but like who helped them, you know? Because Yama was so, you know, he was putting his foot down like, if y'all go, like it is an act of treachery or whatever. I'm thinking more the long, on, along the lines of maybe like Ukitake because uh, he was talking about Rukia, like it's important to have friends and shit. So maybe, maybe he helped them. <laughs> Dude, it is so good that they got some fucking backup. It's like they're about to punch the shit out of this man. Oh, yep, yep. yep. <laughs> Rukio, you know how impatient Ichigo is. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my god. They really introducing themselves like they're like some badass well known hollows. <laughs> Itsugo. <laughs> oh. I mean, I, at least they got some guides, but I think it's kind of like. I don't know. I feel like it may be redundant at one point because, you know, if Aizen or like one of the Espada find out that they're helping him, they're going to just kill them. Mm -hmm. And plus, also, they're not strong in fighting, so they might just be like more obstacles and get in the way. Yeah, and we've seen how even the ones that work for Aizen and them, like when Yami was getting his arm reattached, after he did it, he killed the person that wrapped him back up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Smack her into the wall. Like yeah. for no reason, just to test it out. Bro, look at her glaring. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Hold on. Yo, she is well, she's a hollow, but she is too young, bro. Oh, so Miyako! <laughs> Bro, Byakuya is coming in clutch, bruh. 
Oh my god, another obstacle, bro. Another sand motherfucker! Alright, Ricky, do your thing. Oh bro. my. Bro, what an ass way to, like, end the episode. Especially on some lame ass sand castle, bitch. <laughs> bro, did you defeat it the first time, or what? I'm kind of confused about that. Like, is yeah. it the same one, or is it a different one? Yeah, I'm thinking... It wouldn't surprise me that maybe Aizen would have multiple setups. Maybe it's like an invisible wall and he just has mm -hmm. multiple of the motherfuckers just surrounding the place. Rukia, Rukia is just going to have to keep fucking freezing the motherfuckers. <laughs> so this episode, pretty interesting. Still more build up, bro. I am just ready for them to. Well, I am ready for them to encounter the Espada, but at the same time. I'm also not ready because, you know, I, it's good that Rinji and Rukia came because they needed some... I feel like they needed every little help they could get, but we know that the Espada, like, all the Espada are there, bro. But yeah, dude, I, I fucking like Nell, bro. They're a little... Fa like, I just want to, like, squeeze her, her cheeks, bro. Her face cheeks. Her face cheeks, to yes. To clarify before people take that shit out of context, <laughs> Jesus. Bro, it's funny that Bleach can... It's how often Bleach switches up between some goofy-ass shit, and then we see this sandcastle monster, and then all of a sudden it's like, well, nobody here can really defeat him because you have to have water. Nobody has water. And then it's serious with Rukia showing up, and then it's a clown show again when they're beating the hell out of him. Yeah. And then it gets serious again when they're explaining the situation and they have to fight another sand monster. They just keep going back and forth between the serious and the clown show. And, and like, Bleach does kind of, like, I guess do, like, a good job of that because you know when something's more, I guess, like, playful and then you know when something is, like, dead-ass serious. Anyway, guys, I am going to keep this outro pretty short because, you know, I mean, the episode, there wasn't that much to talk about. But if you guys yeah. did enjoy, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Become a part of the Rice Ball Gang today. Check out my boy Thick Thigh Tie. His link will be in the description down below. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace.